His neck is broken. That's all I can find. Would you send a report over as soon as possible? I'll do that. Thank you. Now, it looks like he just fell down the steps, Harry. No sign of robbery and a wallet full of money. Well, clear it out, folks. Here's a list of Mr. Burton's personal effects. Glasses, cigarettes, matches, handkerchief, wallet. Everything there? Yes, I think so. Thank you, Sheriff. Oh, uh, what about his ring? Ring? I don't believe Mr. Burton was wearing a ring when we found him. I'll recheck, of course, but I'm almost certain of it. What kind was it? It was a diamond, a very large one. The family ring, something you had given him? No, he just got it a few days ago. Do you know where? No, I don't. He just said he, he got a very good buy on it. We'll do our best to run it down, Mrs. Burton. You can count on that. Thank you, Sheriff. See if you can find out if he had it, whether or not he was wearing it last night. Here's some places you can check. Besides his ranch and insurance business, he owned a piece of a motel out in the highway. According to the coroner's report, he'd been dead for better than six hours when they found him. Plenty of people could have taken that ring, Frank. And left a wallet full of money? Start checking, Harry. All right. No, Oni. The one in the next cabin, number four. There's nothing wrong with this one. Now take it back inside. Well, well I, I thought you said that I... Hello, Harry. Howdy, Oni. I... Okay. Hi, Harry. Where's Maxine? <laughs> oh, that Oni. Say, wasn't it awful about that Mr. Burton? Yeah, sure was. By the way, you didn't have to notice he was wearing a diamond ring the last few days. Notice it? How could you help but notice a ring like that? Mm-hmm. Did he have it on last night? Yeah, he was wearing it last night, Orange. You couldn't miss it. Pretty big, huh? Big? <laughs> That's the biggest diamond I ever saw in my life. I should hope to have one half that size. Listen, mister, it was so big you could read by it. Everybody remembers the ring, all right. And he had it on when he ate dinner at the restaurant last night. Nobody knows where he got it, huh? That's right. Something's wrong. We haven't found the angle yet. Hello. Mr. Verney. Well, welcome back. Thanks. And are you on your way home now? Yes, I am. But it's so beautiful here, I just might stay around a day or two and soak up the beautiful weather. Well, gee, it's sure nice to see you again. Well, it's not like this in Oregon now, I'll tell you that. Well, I guess not. Well... Oh, well, uh, while I'm thinking of it, I lost a ring someplace, and I think it must have been here. It's, um... Well, it's just a real good imitation, but it looks like a diamond. You didn't happen to run across it, did you? Gee, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not worth much, but my brother gave it to me, and I kind of hate to lose it. Um, is there anyone else here who cleans up the cabins or anything? No, there's just Oni. He does most of the heavy stuff. Moves things and scrubs and like that. I'll see if he's still here if you want to ask him. Yeah, yeah, I would. Might as well. Yeah. Well, I'll tell him. My goodness, it seems like everybody's losing rings. No. No, no, I, I, I never see no ring. I'm, I'm sorry. I see. Thanks, honey. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but i never seen it. I... Well, we picked up the kid, that Holly kid over in Warren last night. That's where all that stolen TV and radio stuff was going. Found about half it under his bed. Good. Hey, he wants to talk to you. Says it might be important. But it has to be you. Okay, let's talk to him. Okay, Holly, what is it? Well, uh, you're looking for a ring, ain't you? Why? A man's ring, a big diamond? Could be. Well, I thought maybe if 
I could tell you where it is. I thought maybe we could make a deal. I don't make deals. Hmm. Of course, it stands to reason if a man helps me, I'll try to help him, doesn't it? Well, well, all right. You know the Bluebird Tavern past the motel? Yep. Well, there's a gal works there. Her name's Peggy. She's got a ring like that. At least she did last night, anyway. She was showing it to a couple of people, and it was a man's ring. She was wearing it on this finger. Hi, Frank. Harry, who's running the store? Howdy, Mark. Oh, uh, we decided to sell out. We've been losing money. <laughs> Pardon me, miss. Is your name Peggy? Yes. We'd like to talk to you for a moment. Why, sure. Thank you. I'm sorry to bother you, but we're looking for a ring. A man's diamond ring that's been lost. Now, we understand that you have one similar. Could we see it? Mm -hmm, but I don't have any... Oh, that. But I don't have it now. I mean, I gave it back. Who gave it to you? You know Oni Riggs, the big guy? Yes, that... we know him. Well, him. He's got kind of a crush on me. You know how he is. And he said, well, why did I like Mark better than him? And I said, I was only kidding, you know, because Mark gave me these earrings. And so then he shows up with his ring. When was that? Yesterday. Oh, it was a man's ring, you know. I only took it so I wouldn't hurt his feelings. When did you give the ring back to him? Oh, today. Oh, I never meant to keep it. I see. Do you know where he went? On home, I guess. Where is that? An old shack out by the baby Z mine. Thank you very much for your cooperation. See you, Mark. back to Oni? How did you guess? Well, you'd have to be a lot dumber than you look to give it back. Taking pretty much of a chance, though, weren't you? Supposing they uh, wanted to search you. Do you suppose I'd have it on me if I had it? Oni will tell them that you still got it. So who are they going to believe? Oni or me? Got it pretty well stashed, huh? Look, brother, why don't you just not worry your head about it, huh? Who says I've got it anyway? Don't talk like that. You know you're coming out. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just want to talk with you. Don't be stubborn about it. Come on. No. I ain't coming out. Go away. Listen to me. Don't move. 
Don't move till I tell you to. I got the little ruby mine on the other side of the hill. They're blasting in there. We'll call the office. Have them phone the mine not to set off any more charges till they hear from us. And bring the wagon back if you can. Hurry up. Right. Sheriff? Sheriff, where are you? I, I, I want to come out now. Take it easy, Oni. Can you see the light now? Yeah. I, I, I can see it. I'm not so good. Well, stay there. I'm coming in. Touch anything. I won't. You as far as you can go? Yeah. Uh, whatever you do, don't touch a thing. Timbers are barely holding themselves together. But I can tell better what has to be done from this side. Oni? Yeah? Could you crawl under here? Don't touch a thing. I'm going to try something. Guess that's out. on your back. Now shove yourself towards me until I tell you to stop. All right, hold it. Oni, now turn your head to one side. No. Now that won't do it. I'm afraid your chest won't clear. I'm going to do now, sir. Well, we may have to get in here and show this thing up. That'll take too long. I don't want to stay here all night. Now, don't you worry, Oni. Everything's going to be all right. That was Harry, Oni. Now, don't you touch anything. I'll be right back. All right? Oh, okay. Okay, Oni. Can he get out? Now, there's a lot of work to be done. Did they get the call into the mine? That's a tough part of it, Frank. They're awful deep in there. They got several more charges. The fuse is set to go every eight minutes. There isn't anything to be done now. Well, how much time have we got? About four minutes. Get the rope. All right, you hold on to this and be ready to haul when I give you the word. All right, Paul, and keep me posted on the time. Oh, got it. Listen to me carefully. We've got less than four minutes to get you out of here. They're going to blast on the other side and they can't stop it now. I'll do everything I say. Don't ask any questions. And we'll get out of here okay. Understand, Oni? Sir, sure. I will. All right. Turn your head over to one side like it was before. That's it. Three minutes! Move to the right an inch. No, no, Oni. That's your left. It's your right. That's it. A little farther now. All right. Now shove towards me with your feet. I'm, I'm scared of my chest. Let it. Come on. That's it. A little farther. A little farther, Oni. 
minutes yet. Now hold it. You can look up now. Two minutes! Okay, take up the slack, Harry. Take a deep breath. As much as you can take in. Now let it out. All of it. Oh, that's good. Now when I tell you again, you've got to do it just like that. Only this time you've got to hold it. You've got to hold it only no matter if you think you're going to bust. Understand? Good. Hold it until I say breathe. Do you hear me, Oni? All right. One minute. Are you all set, Harry? All set. All right, Oni. Take a deep breath. Now hold it. Let it all out. All of it, Oni. That's it. Now hold it. Pull. Okay, now breathe. That it does. There. Now, Oni, tell me about the ring. Oh, well, it was my ring. I found it in Finders Keepers, you know that. Well, how did Mr. Burton get it? I sold it to him. It's too small for me. He gave me 15 bucks. Oni. Tell me about last night. Well, I, I changed my mind. You see, you see I, I changed my mind. I, I wanted to give it to somebody else. And I, I went to him and I told him I wanted it back. I changed my mind. And he wouldn't do it. I, I had the money with me, too. Did you go to Mr. Burton's office? No. I, I mean, well, he was coming out of the office and I, I met him at the top of the steps. What did you do? Told him I wanted my ring back, and I, I give him the fifteen dollars. I, well, I tried, and I told him I, I wanted my ring back. And he he told me to stop bothering him, and he started on. So so what? Well, he made me mad, and I, I stopped him. Did you hit him, Oni? Oh, no, I, I I never hit nobody. It ain't safe. Then what did you do? You shook him. You shook him? Like this? Yeah. Hard? Well, kind of hard. Then what happened? Well, he fell down the steps. When you let him go, he fell down the steps. Did he take a step or two or stumble or just fall right over? I don't know. It was so... Well, it was dark. He held down the steps. All right, Ollie, let's have the ring. I ain't got the ring. I told you, I gave it to somebody. But she gave it back to you this afternoon. Oh, no, she never did. Are you sure, Oni? Well, sure, I'm sure. Morgan to Bisbee. Send a deputy over to the Bluebird Cafe and detain a waitress named Peggy until we get there. She's gone. Find out where. Message received, Sheriff. This is Deputy Carson. I'll be there in about ten minutes. Say, Frank. 
There's a diamond ring missing in that Phoenix robbery last week. Think that could be part of the loot? Could be. We'll find out soon. Now, let's go. All right, Oni. Slide all the way over. Some guy, a customer. Might have gone on home, still had a uniform on. 948 Hill Street. Lives there with another girl. Well, you take Oni over to the station. We'll make a call on the girl. Sure. Let's go, Oni. I told you not to do that. Now, tell me where it is. I told you I don't know. I haven't got it. I gave it back. Or any idea. You're making me lose my patience. Told me to begin with. You'd be a lot better off. Who do you suppose that was? I don't know. Seemed kind of bashful, didn't he? Didn't he, though? You're going up the front door. If you don't get an answer, go on in. I'll go around back. Girl, is she all right? I wouldn't say she was all right, but at least she's alive. You better call an ambulance, Harry. All right. Boy, sure is a beauty, isn't it? Sure got a size to it. <laughs> Suppose we'll ever be able to afford anything like this, Harry. <laughs> what do they say it was worth? Ten thousand dollars. You know something? You'd never think anything this pretty could cause that much trouble. Burton dead, Bernie dead, that girl hurt bad, and there's Oni. Yeah, what about Oni, Frank? I don't know, it's up to DA, I guess. Tell you something, Harry, I'm glad I'm just the sheriff. I wouldn't want to have his job in a case like this. Mm -hmm. 